Hello guys, it is our pleasure to introduce the shoe story of RQ by Lu Xun. Uh, actually, Lu Xun is being adored by most Chinese people, so let's figure out what's going on in this book, and this is not all. Hello everyone. So, can you introduce some background information while he's creating this story? Sure. The true story of RQ is a tale by Lu Xun, situated in 1911 in a village called Weizhong in China. Lu Xun exposes all the ugliness and backwardness of Chinese society at the turn of the 20th century. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So, in order to let our audience understand it better, so can you introduce the general storyline mm-hmm. about this book? Sure. The story is about a man named RQ who goes through life as a loser. He picks fights with people, attacks women, and steals. But his issue is that even though he is a loser, he achieves spiritual victories by saying in his mind that he has really won. RQ is a bully of the less fortunate but fearful of those who are above his in rank, strength, or power. He persuades himself mentally that he is spiritually superior to his oppressors even as his succumbs to their tyranny. So in modern China, do you know like how people see RQ? And by the way, can you put like show some example about this to demonstrate what you say? Mm-hmm. In modern Chinese language, the spirit of RQ is not commonly used to mock and insult people who do not face up the reality and deceive themselves into believing they are successful when they are not or that they have unjust beliefs of superiority over others. Aki represents all that in undesired in Chinese culture because these traits associated with him are portrayed to be repulsive and result in bad consequences as seen through the events that Aki goes through. In one thing, Akio is beaten and his silver is stone. He slaps himself on the face, and because he is the person doing the slapping, he sees himself as victor. The deep routine need to maintain a. <laughs> I just calm down. Okay. <laughs> There were two rich men living in the same village as RQ, Mr. Zhao and Mr. Jin. The former son had just passed the country's examination. The good news was announced with beating of guns in the village, as was the normal practice. RQ drunk at that time, pressed around with excitement, even though his achievement has got nothing to do with him. In his intoxication, he declared that he shared the same surname with the successful scholar, hoping some of the glory will rub on him. When Mr. Zhao, an honored landlord of the village, beats RQ in the fight, RQ considers himself important for having even a teeny association with such a person. Moreover, Yu Hong actually wrote a book called To Live, and in, his, in this book he actually described a character whose name is Fu Gui. And can you, give, can you reveal this character a little bit more for our audience? An example would be perfect. Mm-hmm. The direct contrast Fu Gui in Yu Hong's To Live is a character that is able to overcome setbacks and his internal struggles with gambling because he recognizes reality. In the beginning, Fu Gui was a compulsive gambler with a very bad addiction. He was a vice who gambled away his family fortune, visited prostitutes and treated his wife and her family very badly. However, because he recognized his problems and faced up to reality, Fu Gui sold his remaining goods to survive 
and avoid gambling parlors. As a result, he regains his wife's affection and become and becomes the head of a traveling perpetrator. Fu Gui becomes a devoted father and good husband, trying to make a living for him and his family on his family's former land. Unlike Aku, Fu Gui didn't allow his pride and ego to swallow his perception of reality and instead bravely acknowledge his mistakes and flaws so that he can change for the better and become a good husband and worker that earns money for his family. After all, I mean, what we discussed before, so what is the ending for RQ and what kind of enlightenment he gave us? Mm, nobody feels sorry for him. On the other hand, they were disappointed that he died from hills of bullets and not from a blade on his neck. They were eager to see how a decapitation was carried out. They also felt cheated for not hearing Aku sing some songs before he died. This shows that having a poor character and wrong perspective will lead you to poverty and rejection by society. Fu Gui's life was a tragedy, but he was very positive to his life which made his experiences natural to the others, causing no harms to the society. However, RQ wasted his life. In conclusion, although people were under same conditions, they can also make different reflections to the society, and it was because of people's attitudes toward their lives. Their lives had different values to the world. So you actually made a cons construction, right? So that's pretty mm -hmm. good. So all in all, we believe that Lu Xun want to use this novel to inspire people in contemporary society and to show them attitude is actually a good thing among work and, and career life.